Good morning, everybody. BTC Simmer here with you. How's everyone doing? Excellent, awesome, great. Good to hear. All right, we're here at uh, Glasgow International, heading out for a short trip to uh, Oban, North Cornell, Echo Gulf, Echo Oscar, in the uh, caravan. Caravan. All right. We are on VATSIM, however, last check, didn't see any controllers on, London North is on, but uh, they don't cover us, so we're here, we're hoping to get coverage, but we don't get it. Um, I don't know if those aircraft are static or other VATSIMers, not sure, <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll find out, or maybe we won't, I don't know. Anyway, our route's pretty simple, the weather's pretty nice, I did select IFR, however, um, Route is uh, C L Y D 3A, then Clyde, and then L602 Finer, and then OBN. So, kind of goes west and then northwest. The road itself. Um, yeah, just been enjoying the caravan lately. It's not such a bad aircraft. Pretty nice. I got uh, an idea for my next uh, accident recreation video. Involves the uh, Mitsubishi MU2, so it's uh, again out of uh, Charlie Yankee X Ray Tango Terrace Airport up in uh, British Columbia, Canada. But uh, I'm gonna do a couple of, I'm gonna do accident coverage videos that uh, have no airtime, that are hard to find information on. Um, I'm not gonna do recreations of recreations, um, I don't think. Maybe, you never know, but. Uh, for the most part, I want to do ones that, uh, that don't have too much info on them, and I want to bring the info out and, uh, you know, inform people on them. In a good way. In a good way, of course. All right, guys. What's the price today? Should we let Frankie say his line? All right. Go ahead, Frankie. It's all yours, Frankie. Bitcoin! <laughs> That's Frankie, Frankie Mac D, Frankie McDonald. See his Twitter handle right there. Give him a follow, amateur weatherman. Reports weather all over the world. Heck, he might even report what aviation weather. Who knows? <laughs> all right, price of BTC today, guys: forty-three one two six. Americanos, Canadian fifty-eight zero nine or five fifty-eight zero nine or five. And for UK British friends, it's thirty-three nine one four. GBP British pound. All right, the price, the price, the price. All right, just remember one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin, like it says right there on the screen. And it's long and low time preference, guys. It's generational stacking, creating that generational wealth, passing it on, passing it on. All right, if you have an emergency, you know your properly stored Bitcoin will be there. It will be there if you properly store it, it will be there and it will be secure. Right, I'm not saying, you know, put it away and uh, die with your coin. I'm saying stack. Use it if you want. Use it if you need. Use it if, uh, you know, it's your, your stuff, your money. Use it. Heck, it's not financial advice, is it? I don't know. I don't care. If you listen, you listen. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> All right. Let's see some headlines. Let's see what's going on at this price. It's 43 price here. All right. Headlines. Bitcoin readies to recover 65,000. Here's a key sign shared by analyst. That's a you today. You today. BTC Bitcoin to reach 1 million, predicts Arthur Hayes with cryptic message. Yeah, that's uh, that's you today too as well. One more headline here. Salvadorian Bitcoin volcano bonds target Q1 2024 launch after getting regulatory approved. approval. That's from Bitcoin dot com news and that is uh, pretty interesting they're going to use the volcano's energy power to uh to mine bitcoin down in el salvador that is pretty neat so have a look at that if uh that interests you i like mining i don't i don't mine um i kind of used to but uh, i got out of the mining game i just stack stack the corn All right guys have a look at the screen now and you can see a couple screenshots of the current weather um current weather at each each airport here so definitely VFR and uh, 
you know, the winds aren't bad or anything. Looks like we're going to use uh, six out of here. Is it runway six or is it runway five? Runway five. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, we're going to use two, three. What am I? What am I looking at here? What am I looking at? Two, three. Yeah, the wind will be uh, eleven knots, two forty. So, all right. And there's the uh, airport diagrams there. This is straight from Airmate. Check out my Airmate video. Um, best app I've found for uh, Flight Simulator along with Flight Plan Go. Um, Flight Plan Go is better suited for North America, whereas Airmate pretty much covers the rest of the world. I think Airmate covers everywhere, but uh, I found Flight Plan Go is a little better for North America. From my findings, anyways. But uh, all right, let's get her going here. Um, I'll join you guys once I'm powered up and uh, ready to, to uh, make my ghost call to uh, ATC. Maybe they'll pop on. Who knows? All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, we're all powered up, ready to go here, ready to push back. All right. Um, took me a minute or two. Don't really fly the caravan all that much, uh, but it's a fun aircraft, so. Get going here with pushback toolbar, pushback toolbar, pushback right there. See all the things I got here. I got too many of them, I think. Okay, manual pushback. We'll get rid of the parking brake. Uh, manual. There's our guy. You can see him. He's got his beacon light on. He's uh, grab our front wheel there. And he just nearly ran over his helper there. <laughs> Good add-on, the uh, toolbar pushback or pushback toolbar or whatever you want to call it. Looks like he's uh, chopping himself up there with the prop, but uh, hey, that's okay. That's flight simulator, right? <laughs> uh, he'll clip in there. He'll clip in there properly. There, there he goes. All right, Put the parking brake off, and you just. Grab the slider here. Go ahead. And that uh, other traffic that was on there was uh, my AI traffic. So I did turn it off. Forgot I had it on. But, uh, you don't want AI traffic with VATSIM. Really, uh, can really mess things up <laughs> visually. Not so much uh, otherwise, but visually. Okay, let's get them going here. Get him to turn us out this way so we can taxi out there. I believe we're at uh, Taxiway Juliet there, I think. And that should be sufficient there. Alright. Quick check of the chart here, guys. The Gamma apron or is it the uh, Juliet apron? That's right, it's a Juliet apron. All right. So I guess we'll go Juliet Alpha uh, Bravo. All right. Let's call up the Vat Simmers. 122.8, right? Right, all right. Glasgow traffic, uh, November. 5009 or Delta taxiway uh, uh, Juliet apron taxiing to runway 27 27? 23 <laughs> 23 via Juliet Alpha uh, holding Bravo Glasgow traffic calling it 27 that's okay that's okay yeah, parking brakes off we're ready to push the throttle up here Well, maybe a fellow vat simmer off there to the left. Spending some time in the outside views. Enjoying the view. I don't know where I got 2.7 from. Where did I get that from? Where the heck did I get that from? 
Look at all my uh, Metartaf. It's another good app. Flight Simulator. And for real world. I use it for real world use. <laughs> for cycling. I like to know the wind direction. So. Kind of neat in that regard. You know, if you get a headwind or tailwind. Yeah, I'm running FS Realistic Pro, so I might hear some sounds and uh, a few visuals here and there. But, uh, letting you guys know if you do get the uh, FS Realistic Pro, it does uh, eat a couple frames here and there. So keep that in mind. I had it for X Plane, so. Give it a try for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. See, I got the flaps one notch there. Alright, I believe this is Bravo. Bravo, Bravo! Hold here. Final checks and uh, be on our way. Okay, guys, you can see here I got uh, JD checklists um, at flightsim.to. Throw a link in the description for you. Um, good checklists here. So, before takeoff, holding point, we'll do our altimeters check. Yes, it's set. Do our trim set for takeoff. Let's have a look at that. Seems like it's right in the takeoff area there. Flaps are checked. Uh, set takeoff. Let's see. Yeah, that's full. It's off, so. Simple flaps on the carry van, just two notches there. Standby alternator power switch. Hmm, where is that? I know where the pedo heat is. You got that on. Don't know where that is. I guess I can go to the other checklist. Got to be somewhere down here. Standby power avionics bus. There's one generator. All right, can't be that important. Anyway, <laughs> good thing you're in flight sim, eh? Anti ice looks fine. We got pedal heat on. Inertial separator. Oh, is that the? Uh, I can't remember exactly what that is. But anyway, I think it's down. Pull, normal push. As required, yeah, bypass if icing can occur or on runways with loose. We're on a decent runway here. So landing lights on, strobes on, landing lights on, taxis off, strobe lights on, transponder is on, takeoff. So 70 to 80, short field takeoff, all this stuff. All right, that gets ready to takeoff. I don't know where the rest of his checklist is. Maybe here? Nope, that just zooms it out. Analog dark. Yeah, he's got checklists for everything in here. Alright, ready to go here. Call up the VAT simmers. We'll just check and see if anyone's popped on. Fortunately, they haven't. Alright. Glasgow traffic, uh, November 5009 or Delta. Taking off runway 23, taxiway Bravo, uh, north departure, uh, Glasgow traffic. Alright. Looks like there's like a little dust storm starting up there. Look at that. I don't know if that's realistic pro doing its stuff or what. But whatever it is, it's pretty neat. Let me just have a quick look, make sure no one's on their way in. Doesn't look like it. Glasgow traffic, Cessna Golf, Golf, Romeo, Sierra, Mike, General Aviation, Apron, Taxi and Tolling, Short Runway 23 via Alpha. The whole short at Bravo, Glasgow traffic. Aha, that was a Cessna there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Turboprop aircraft really get going. May as well take a nice turn to the north once we uh, 
Oh, and here was our range. Ba ba. Nice when you're on Vatsim and there's even someone on. It's just it's more realistic. 70 to 80. There you go. Holy moly. Right up. Right up. There he is. See ya, pal. Okay, look at us climb. Holy Christ. So we got no gear. It's obviously fixed gear. Um, make sure you can get rid of the flaps there. And the landing lights at 1,000. 500 feet, we'll make a little turn here. We've got our engine in the red. It's flashing at us. Come back a touch on the prop. Touch on the RPMs there. On our way to 6,000, I got her set for. Just overcorrect here and get into our GPS line. Head for the mountains of Oban, North Connell. Fun little airport I found. There you go. I'll just turn into our GPS here. I wanted to do a video with a failure, but the failures for Flight Simulator are very bland. It's like engine, it's like fire, oil leak, oil system, or complete failure. Doesn't give you much. I wonder if there's like a add-on or something that uh, gives you a little more flexibility in that area. All right, we got our flaps up, right? Yes, we do. And climbing right along. She really wants to trim up on me. It's all that power. Alright, I also got a uh, empty caravan here, guys. I got uh, just a one pilot and 50 pounds of cargo. And that's all. I think I have, what, 40% fuel? So she's very light. That's probably why it just jumped off the runway. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go, the nice scenic landscapes. Let's go traffic, Cessna Golf Golf, Romeo, Sierra, Mike, lining up departing runway 23, straight out departure to the south, west, landing below 3,000 feet initially. Glasgow traffic. All right, guys, we're about 17, 16 miles from Oban, Oban. I'm going to start our descent now and uh, see you guys on approach. You can see the clouds have rolled in, but uh, on the weather app, it does say that there's uh, no ceiling, so we'll see what's going on. See you in a minute. Alright, descending fairly well here. Um, see some wind turbines there. See Old Ben is over there, North Connell, the airport. Right in that bay there. Can't remember what the bay is called, but there it is. Alright guys, let's jump uh, into the cockpit here and see what's happening. Just do a ghost call. I don't think there's any centers on. No, there's not yet. 
Echo Golf, Echo Oscar, Oban Traffic, uh, November 5009 or Delta type uh, caravan, Cessna caravan, is 7.3 miles south inbound to land, uh, runway 01, straight in approach, uh, Oban Traffic. And all my VAT sims a little, a little rusty. Oh, we're getting pretty low here. We're getting pretty low. See the airport is like right there, I believe. And I know I have aftermarket scenery package installed. So anyway. Let's go off our heading here. Let's go heading hold and then we'll put our course. To see, yeah, and we'll put our course to the runway, which is 008. And we can bleed off some airspeed. Do a quick check here. We'll turn on our landing lights, put our props up to full, and we can come down a little bit in speed still. We're heading a little this way. I think we'll take it uh, manually now. Yeah, we'll kick the autopilot. And we'll bleed off some more airspeed. Raise the nose, get into flap territory. Notch of flaps there. She's very touchy. Almost like a Walmart drone. You know a Walmart drone? <laughs> okay, let's bring her down a little quicker here. And we'll go full on the flaps. You can see the runway there. To the right. See if we can do it in one shot. Why not? Oban traffic, uh, November 5009 or Delta, two mile final to land full stop, runway 01. Oban traffic. Some rudder control there. Line ourselves up, it's saying we're a little high, that's all right. It's a beautiful area of the world out here. 500. 500 foot warning. Gonna center our view a little bit here. Sure, our props full and just watch our speed on final. Here we are over the threshold. And touch down. Bring your flaps up. And there it is. Flight to Oban. We got traffic in the runway. <laughs> sure what's going on there. But... And we'll bust off the taxiway here. Put on our taxi lights. Yeah, this is uh, an aftermarket version of Oban Airport. I can't remember who uh, who the author is, but I will find it. And we'll stop right here somewhere. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Gauge a parking brake. Turn off the rest of our autopilot.
There you guys have it, flight to Oban from Glasgow on VATSIM, but there wasn't much VATSIM going on. We did have one uh, aircraft there. One's better than none. Beautiful view out here. Beautiful view. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Remember, stack them sats and we'll catch you on the next one.